Hello guys, welcome to Tech Mode, and this is a part two of the tutorial UI regression automation using Casper JS and Phantom CSS. This is its boy promote, and in this uh, tutorial, we are going to learn how you can install the Casper JS as well as Phantom CSS. So basically, what we are doing to going to do is that we'll be basing a we'll be creating a Node project here in this, and uh, we'll be installing our dependency related to Casper JS Phantom CSS. So let's get started. And so first of all, the topics that I am to cover, as I already mentioned, introduction as well as installation. So let's move on to the introduction part and we understand what is Casper JS and Phantom CSS. So Casper JS is a basically kind of a navigation library in that, that is written wholly in JavaScript. And so it basically what exactly is that it uses internally Phantom JS, Phantom JS. And Phantom JS is a basically a headless browser where you will not able to see anything on a screen but it's a pure browser written in C++ where you can give instructions uh, to navigate to a particular URL, capture a screenshot, do this click, for fill up a form and all. So Casper JS is a basically a wrapper of around it and will help us more, more to run those scripts or those act actions that we wanted to do with Phantom CSS. Phantom JS, sorry. And whereas Phantom CSS is a basically kind of a library which uses a, a mechanism where we basically create certain baseline images, baseline images, and we wanted to compare with our latest build. For example, suppose you, right now I have a particular website which has three text boxes and we'll create a baseline of these three text boxes. So whenever we do certain types of changes, tweaks and all, so it will automatically use the Resemble.js. Resemble.js is a basically an image uh, comparison library and it will compare it with our baseline. So anything that is changed, it will just automatically repair it in your failure folder. And for so any kind of UI breaks and all, it's a kind of regression that you wanted to do with your UI regression part. So it will automatically give you a failure test cases for it. So I know it's kind of a theoretical, you will not understand much about it, but Bear with me guys, you will definitely going to learn more. So let's understand more about Casper JS. First of all, we have to install both of them. So let's install. So if you uh, go to the casperjs.org, it's a website where you can install the Casper JS. So first of all, I will say you have to install Node.js. So I have already told in the first tutorial, you have to install Node. So if you have already installed the Node.js, so npm that is a node package manager will work fine for you you can go and go to your command line and make a directory let's create a directory name hello c casper and cd into it okay so right now what we wanted to do is that we create a particular project for it right we wanted to create a project of npm that is next we'll just side type npm in it and it will automatically create a it'll give you a certain it ask a question what is the project name i'll say hello hello c casper and i don't want i don't want to so just enter 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 and it will just give you these things it's okay yes that's all so right now if you see we have a package.json file right now and we wanted to in, so it's a and if i get it it look like this and so what we wanted to do is that we wanted to have install our dependencies so our dependency is casper js so i wanted to install it as, uh, as a global so i will do npm install minus g for global casper js and i wanted to install phantom css also as well as i wanted to install phantom js also and third part is slimmer js i wanted to install as a globally also so slimmer js is another another you can say a wrapper around a phantom js where we have a view if you wanted to see a view on phantom js you use engine is equal to slimmer js and it will basically show you so i have already installed everything so after that minus s so i don't want it to install globally right now because i already installed them as so i just wanted to install in my package file right now in the local file so i will mention minus s so running this command will take a time around certain i don't know 
much about it so let's while it's Tony let's move on to this phantom JS part so as you can see they have mentioned it's a full web stack no browser required you can just run it's a solution for page automation screen capture if you want headless headless website testing network monitoring and all so headless website testing basically we are doing there and slimmer JS is a basically you can say a scriptable browser again for web developer you can see what exactly going on with the phantom JS and it uses WebKit same as a Firefox uses and kind of uh, much more advanced than phantom JS I find it very useful while running UI aggregation especially so let's move on to this and it's already installed and now if I cat it you can see it installed all the dependency related to it now if you type casper.js so you will have a certain options hence casper.js is successfully running fine okay so so we have a project right now here we have a node module package fail and we don't have any kind of test or hello world in a casper right now so what I'll do is that I'll create a touch index.js uh, my bet is low it's okay okay and I will open it in sublime there's a shortcut I have used for sublime opening but you will not have it in your machine you have to configure it you can just google it around okay so I have let me open my sublime okay oh sorry for that yeah my charger is connected now yeah so this is the first thing what we have to do is that we will write casper variable casper is equal to we'll use a require module if you don't know to require casper dot create right and it has a suburb so I don't know much about it what is the syntax and what the API available for Casper so I have a great tool I will mention you guys this is a dash tool it's a very very advanced tool it's a basically kind of a tool where it uh, collects all the uh, documentation of uh, any anything library that you're going to work so right now I'll just type enter and it will give me documentation how you can create a same simple Casper project as well as a simple variable of Casper okay so uh, second thing I wanted to use start and so I'll copy this thing and this is our first test test it will go to google.com dot France and it will say I am loaded and this dot echo dot this dot get title I'll give you I'll explain you guys what exactly it's doing but well, let's first, first run it say casper js index dot a and let's see if it's going to run or not it said I am loaded in Google Hooray. so let's understand this code so what exactly we are doing we are cre creating an instance of Casper and we are just requiring this Casper that is we have installed in package.json file and it has a method of start where it will first it will take a URL and it after that it will call callback URL so whenever it's finished loading it call this function and here we are we're just mentioning this dot echo so you can do Casper also if you are not comfortable with this so Casper dot echo it's oh, so what is echo I'll open dash and dash will explain me what is this Casper dot echo okay I have to purchase oh this kind of stuff why this need it's a paid to okay I'll wait for five seconds okay so it's a basically a method echo where we have a message and style we want we don't want any style we just give message so it will just print in a console that's all it does so this dot get title is basically again if I do Casper and if I select this and I have compare dash for it what is this title Casper dot get title so get title basically give me retrieve the current page title all right that's all it does so this is the hello world test of Casper it's working fine 
and let me see if what I have in this tutorial I think the hello world so everything we have done so hooray guys you have running successfully first test with the Casper JS and you have installed phantom CSS we will be using in next tutorial and uh, you have run a headless web browser also and so let's hope to see you in the next video and see you guys